Many years ago, for $2.99, I bought this album, Suicide by Suicide, because it said suicide on the cover and had a lot of blood, but also the back cover. The two men in the band, one Alan Vega and one Martin Rev. If you look at the picture of Alan Vega, it looks like he's looking into the gates of hell. Like, what is he looking at that is glaring back at him? I had to know. Ian McKay and I got this record back to his stiflingly hot attic bedroom where he lived when we were young. And we put this record on. It's one voice and one synthesizer. We had no idea what we were in for. The single most intense song I've ever heard in my life is, is contained on this record. It's called Frankie Teardrop. Try it. It is easily the most intense song you will ever hear. It blew our young minds so substantially that all we could do is laugh and make fun of the record for the rest of the night because it made us so nervous. I didn't play the record again for weeks. I, I just couldn't face it. It was too much. It was too different. It blew my mind open too hard. But eventually I came back to it and it became one of the most important albums of my life. Later, I befriended Martin Rev and Alan Vega. Mr. Vega passed away in the year of 2016 and he and I were friends for decades before his passing. Martin Rev and I still keep in touch to this day. The first Suicide album is one of the hugest, game-changing, mind-altering records that I own.